Uh, we're very confident. Uh, I think as a group, we just need to be uh, like we just need to believe in our ability and uh, just potential overall, and just work hard, uh, play as a team, and uh, I think we should we should be good for tomorrow. Considering how the pitch has played all week, were you surprised that Bermuda elected to bat first at the toss? Yes, I was very surprised. Uh, they won the toss. I was I, I was I thought they were gonna bowl first, but uh, I think they wanted to uh, go home early too a little bit. So. Um, I'm, I'm glad they batted for us and we were able to win up quick. Akash, uh, Gil bowled a fantastic spell, yes, yes. Uh, really exploiting the pitch, getting a, a, an awful lot of uh, extra bounds, yes. coming off a, a good length to get four wickets. Um, what, what can you say about his performance? Wow, amazing. Uh, that, that set the tone for us uh, like for, in terms of like bowling because uh, he came out, he was very quick. And I was telling him before, even before, he was both quick and just line and length. And they, these guys aren't used to playing that, that kind of pace that he generates. So uh, I, I was very happy with his performance today. Uh, uh, that's my go-to thing uh, whenever I bowl because uh, I don't have that, that pace that Akash or Faisal has. So uh, whenever I bowl, I try to find my line and length first. Uh, and then I just, I just rely on my cutters to get me through the overs. Um, today, the wicket helped me a lot because it was kind of sticky and it was bouncing. It was uneven bounce. So that um, I was just happy that the wicket helped me, and I was able to uh, help my team out. We were thinking initially we were, we were because we bowled them out for uh, 80. I knew the way uh, the way our guys could bowl. I, I was I knew that we could get them out under 50, and I was happy that we did. Uh, so from first ball, I was like we, I was telling my guys uh, under 50 because these guys from even yesterday's performance. I was I, I went to the game yesterday. I was analyzing their batting performance. Uh, these guys, they don't like to just bat, through, bat out the overs. They, these guys are either going to score 300 or they're going to go out, all out 80, right? So I had that mindset and I knew my uh, bowlers, Faisal and them, they would, uh, uh, they would bowl well early up, uh, early on. So uh, basically the plan going on was under 50 and chase it down quick. Uh, the coach had given us uh, eight overs target. Um, and uh, personally, from the first ball, I, was, I, w I wanted to go full out, as you saw <laughs> from the first ball. But, uh, uh, the plan was to just don't lose wickets, but we lost two wickets. But uh, we sent two of our big hitters up front, uh, Kun uh, Kunvar and uh, Emmanuel, to try and get the run rate going. But uh, and then uh, I was hoping that they would give us like 10 runs, 15 runs each, and then uh, me and RC could finish off the game, include uh, uh, with the, uh, with the help of uh, Gilly if we needed him, right? Uh, but we were ho we were hoping to chase it down under eight overs, but we did it better than that, so that's pretty good. Personally, I don't mind because that's my home ground, uh, the, the club. Uh, that's the club I play for and I play all my games there. But uh, the boys, I, I think our team is a team that, that, that thrives in a good wicket, good, good ground, good, uh, good environment. And TCC is all that uh, because when you walk in, you know you're playing a proper game of cricket. You have change rooms, all that stuff. You don't have these here, right? So I think that atmosphere and uh, the, the willingness to win and a big game, big, uh, tomorrow being a big, very, very big game, I think our guys will perform well.